ultra-wide monitors. They look cool and we see them on many great setups online. However, are they really useful? Can they actually help you be more productive or is the additional screen real estate not very useful? I will try to answer that question in this video. Multitasking on an ultra-wide monitor is significantly better than on a single 27-inch monitor. Whenever I am coding, for example, I find that I am able to have an IDE open as well as Chrome windows and even Slack. This can also be done on a dual monitor setup, but it is definitely nice being able to move windows around without having the bezel in the middle. When you need to have an app such as a game open in full screen, multitasking becomes a little more difficult than on a dual monitor setup. If you want to stream when gaming, you will be better off with a second monitor to handle those simple tasks. Before I got my ultra wide monitor, I used to always have my MacBook screen open for Slack and other non coding tasks. Since I got the ultra wide monitor, I have found myself using my MacBook in closed screen as the ultra wide provides me with enough room to have open all the apps that I need most of the time. The one place where the ultra wide monitor truly shines is when editing videos. This is because the increased length of the monitor allows you to see more of the timeline at once and thus makes editing a lot easier. A really cool feature that my LG Ultrawide has is the ability to split the screen between two different inputs. This means that I can simultaneously use my Mac and PC on the same monitor. Pair this with some Logitech peripherals that allow you to flow between two devices at once and you will be able to switch between your Mac and PC without even lifting a finger. When it comes to gaming, your experience can vary depending on the gaming platform and what type of game you're playing. As mentioned earlier, my monitor has 60Hz refresh rate, so it is definitely not a dedicated gaming monitor. However, because of the widescreen, ultra-wide monitors are amazing for games such as Flight Simulator and Formula 1, as it gives you much more immersion. If you have an excellent gaming console such as a PlayStation 5, you will also enjoy playing on an ultra-wide. Playing games such as Red Dead Redemption will look great due to the bigger screen, and you will also benefit when playing first-person shooters such as Call of Duty as you can take advantage of the wider field of view. Something to keep in mind if you often have online calls where you have to share your screen is that most people don't have ultra-wide monitors. This means that if you're sharing your entire screen, the other person will see everything very small since the size of a 34-inch ultra-wide would not fit inside of a regular 27-inch monitor, for example. Therefore, if your job requires you to screen share for a lot of the time, this is something to keep in mind. When it comes to getting an ultra-wide monitor, the main obstacle might be the price. Base model ultra-wide monitors start at higher prices than most monitors, and the cost significantly increases with higher refresh rate and bigger screen size. This means that how much you spend on an ultra-wide monitor will ultimately come down to your own use case. To conclude, I think ultra-wide monitors are great, especially if you're coming from a single monitor. Compared with a dual monitor setup, having such great quality and look while getting rid of the bezel and having a more immersive gaming experience, I would say ultra-wide monitors are definitely worth it. Please subscribe if you like this video and see you in the next one.